what exactly do y'all want? Because what the first, it's feminism ruined women and we're too independent. You know what makes us independent? Having our own money. And then we finally go, working is ghetto, girl bossing was a scam, I'm done, mm, soft life for me. You're calling us broke. I might have been a liberal arts major, but I'm not that bad at math. If you're broke, say that, but you can't have a woman that relies on you if you can't be relied on. And then you're gonna complain about it. The truth is y'all don't wanna do nothing for real. You want a woman who has her own money so you don't have to take care of her, but you don't want her to be too independent that she's requiring things of you that you're not willing to give, like effort emotional intelligence. You want a woman who will split the bills but then also come home and take care of the kids and clean and massage your back. And I have yet to hear what you're bringing. And it can't just be about connection because some of y'all can't even open up enough to have an emotional conversation. What some of y'all need are multiple streams of income, a maid, and a blow up doll. Because at this point, y'all don't want women for real. And for those of you who are like, oh, I'm over American women. I want a traditional woman. What do you think a traditional woman is going to want from you? Because traditionally, men provide. We live in a world where a man has to be financially stable just to date a broke woman. What exactly do y'all want? Because what the first, it's feminism ruined women and we're too independent. You know what makes us independent? Having our own money. And then we finally go, working is getting. We live in a Um, I don't think she understood the mission. So, okay. Here's the thing. If a woman doesn't have nothing going on in her life, she still has standards like the rich, successful woman. This is what he's trying to make understand. A broke woman with who stare at her mom, don't have nothing going on. You know, let's say she's being traditional and stuff. She doesn't have nothing going on. She's waiting for a man. She could not have standards that matches a woman who's literally crazy accomplished. It doesn't make sense that she'll be like, I want a millionaire. He got to be this. He got to be this. And you look at her like, so what do you do? Those women have standards like the higher tier women. Middle class women have the same standards as them higher tier women. No woman on this planet thinks she's average. Majority of women think they're above average. And Beyonce. So he's saying that it's crazy that we can go on a date with a woman who probably make less than that man. And she will say, I want a six-figure guy. If she do get that six-figure guy or that millionaire, she will have outlandish standards for him. And he looks at her like, you're nowhere near my tax bracket. You should humble yourself. And she will still say, I deserve the best of the best. And like I say, if she was at home, we have, this is where we kind of, I would say this, the only type of women that I believe, this is Sean, this is my, my, my point of view. There's nobody else. I believe if a woman is a virgin and she's still her mom house, she said, I've been waiting for a husband. She's learning all the criteria, the cooking, the cleaning, the trying to be submissive, feminine, all the things, all the things that she's only prioritizing, leaving this household and going to her husband's house. That's the only place. That woman can have standards to a certain level up there because she's only, she's like a virgin. She's only looking for that one situation. Her standards could be like that because she'll be like, I'm a rare commodity. If there's not a lot of women like me out here. And you have to understand, she really is a rare commodity. If she have them characteristics, that femininity and stuff, she's a certain type of woman. She care herself in a certain type of light. She is a rare commodity. So her standards are realistic. We live in a world where regular degla women who, again, are not virgins, that been with this man, that man, and this man, and her value depreciated. She knows it. She understands it. But she feel like I'm experienced. That experience does nothing for that man. No man is telling you, you got to sleep with 10 or 15 men to be with me. Nobody's telling you this. You're doing things that you feel like you have to do. And that's a personal thing. But you understand that the things that you could ask for changes every single year. You age. The way you look also dictate what you could ask for, too. The way you carry yourself also dictate what you could ask for. If you put all these components into place and the guy sitting across from you, we're not mad at you for having standards. We're 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 losing our minds because you have outrageous standards. And then you're not looking in the mirror trying to understand, like, where is this standards coming from? Because if you told us I'm this type of woman, I'm this, this, and we look at the stat line, we're going to be like, okay, I understand why you're saying this. But you would tell me, mm, I work at Target. She could be 200 pounds. And she's like, I need a six-figure earner. I need a man that's going to pay for my nails, my bills and stuff. You'd be like, come on, lady. Like, is, is this realistic? We be, we want you to be more realistic with your standards, ladies. That's all. Just be more realistic. Because guys are in any economic class, they'll sit there, give you a chance. We're willing to date down. We are willing to date down. 
we are willing to date down because you say, well, what about the women that do go up there? Y'all don't want to date down. Y'all hate dating down. Y'all always say either my level or above my level. So if you meet a man at your level, that don't mean a man at your level want to date you. <laughs> That's the crazy thing because we are willing to date down. We don't have a problem dating down. You struggle dating down. Women need to stop comparing it to like we're trying to know. It's, if I'm a successful man and this broke woman have this outrageous standards, it's crazy to me. What do we, that's what we used to talk about. What do you bring to the table where you could say I could leverage this type of man to take care of me? And you can't just say I'm a woman and that's it. That doesn't there's plenty of women. What is different about you? Just like if a man came to you, you will wonder, we wonder what what made you pick him to be your husband. There was something about him. It can't be just basic things. Something about him made you say, okay, I'm willing to marry this man and say he's my husband. There's something that he had to be or do and stuff to accomplish to say, okay, he's husband material. For you to reach that status as a wife or as a girlfriend, you have to understand there's things that you have to have in place. You can't just say, I'm a woman, and we got to be like, okay, that's it. That's all you need. No, that's, the criteria can't just be your woman. It got to be other things. And that's where the conversation kind of, because if you're independent and you think this, you're not going to date down. You're not going to date down. You have a hard time dating down and taking care of men. But we don't mind doing it. You know, and that's like I said, we guys be out here dating women that's close to broke and them women be having crazy standards. Like, where does this come from? And y'all not the purest women. And y'all, some of y'all don't like the cooking. Y'all don't like cooking. Y'all don't like cleaning. Y'all don't like following your man leadership. Like, it's a lot of things y'all don't like doing. But y'all have crazy standards, which don't make no sense. You have nothing to leverage with that man. You have nothing to leverage. Nothing to leverage, and you want to sit there and still have standards. That's the only crazy thing about that. That's what she, she's forgetting. Like, they don't have nothing to leverage for that man that they want. Like, I'm subscribe. But we're going to get to this fucking comment 